Tell me something. If you're not going to do it, then why do you ask? If you're not going to apply it, then why read the book? If you're not going to do it the way the teacher, the mentor, the speaker said to do it, and you're going to do it your way, then why even attend the event? Well, I got to talk about that. I'm going to give you my own take on that one. Hey guys, it's Joseph Diego here from josephdiego.com and growing with Joseph Diego, where I share my journey with you from the ordinary to the extraordinary, so that we just might grow together. How are you doing today, man? You know, I came home from work, running like a madman, getting ready for this trip, date with destiny, baby, 2019, I'm going to spend six days intensive, intensive soul searching that's what it's all about becoming the best me that i can be and hopefully i'll be able to share some of that information with you now and it's really really good so that way i can apply it use it and make it happen because here's i gotta share this with you i gotta share this with you real good now most of you guys know i'm a drunk right you most of you guys know that i'm a recovered alcoholic i haven't had a drink in 16 almost 16 years now wow Come March, January, February, March, yeah. March is going to be 16 years that I haven't had a drink, a drug, anything. I've been clean as they can be. Well, if that's what you want to call me. And here's the other thing is I'm very, very involved in recovery and in my recovery and helping other people, showing them exactly what they need to do, how to stay sober. And now you guys got to remember this, that after 10 years, at anything, you're pretty much considered a master. It's called mastery. I wish I could get a master in cutting my hair, right? Get mastery, right? It's a, the, the art of mastery, being a pro at this. And I've been, I've helped a lot of people get sober. I've seen a lot of people come. I've seen a lot of people go. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people go like real, real, like gone. You know, that they're, uh, they're hitting the old bar up in the sky, you know? The old pub up in the sky, and that's not a, it's not a nice one. I, I've seen them drink themselves. I've seen people drink and drug themselves to death, and that's not pretty. But again, here it goes. I have a lot of people that come up to me and ask me to sponsor them. And I want you to think about this because if whatever it is that you want to do in your life, again, be it relationships, uh, recovery, recovering from an addiction of some sort, even smoking. Uh, eating, uh, you know, weight loss, joining the gym, getting in shape, doing what you want to do, um, finances, becoming successful, becoming a, you know, having a career, a business, starting something that you, you know, that's going to give you more. If you're looking to do this, this is what happened. When I decided that I wanted to get sober, and I said this to you guys in an earlier in a video before that there were three things that I really dove into and I did, okay? One of them was get sober. The other one was my relationship with my wife and my family. Becoming a tradesman. Becoming a tradesman and martial arts. So that's actually four. Four, if I can count right, right? Four things that I can just think over the top of my head right now. And when I decided to get sober, I asked my the gentleman who I asked to be my sponsor, Reiki Pete, at that time, will you be my sponsor? And the question was, what are you willing to do to stay sober, Joe? And the answer had better been anything. The answer had better been anything. But you could say anything, right? But are you willing to do anything? And here's the question. Here's the question. Are you willing to do whatever it takes for you to do what you need to do? You see, in these things that I really applied myself to, in these things that I, in, in the trade, in the building trade, and in the tradesman that I became, in my relationship, in martial arts, in my recovery, I was willing to do anything. And I became very successful at all of those things. I'm very, very successful. And I've taken, I've taken them as far as I want to take them. Like in my, my, my skilled trade, 
I don't want to do that anymore. So I kind of like let that go. So I'm not pushing that anymore. My recovery, I'll be pushing for the rest of my life. My relationships, I'll be pushing for the rest of my life. Martial arts, I'll be pushing for the rest of my life. So, but in recovery, when again, what I'm saying, the reason I'm using this for you guys, I may be all over the place with this, but this is going somewhere. So listen, what happened was I have a friend of mine, a very, 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 financially successful friend at one time and I hadn't seen him in about 15 years and one reason for I don't know what it was just a couple of a month or two ago I decided to go buy his house I don't know what possessed me to go buy his house I had my grandson in the car and I went to see this guy and I looked at the house and now this is a multi-million dollar house and I'm looking at the house I'm like wow this doesn't look right it doesn't look the same. And I, I see some guy standing in the back. And the trucks, his trucks aren't there anymore. The house is kind of run down. And, and I asked him, yo, is, is, is my friend around? He says, yeah, he's over there. And I see my friend. And he's got a bottle. He's sitting in the front of his house throwing tennis balls for the dog. For Bear, the dog, real nice dog, chasing the tennis balls. And it's just a shame. He's sitting there with a bottle of tequila telling me, Joey, things are falling apart. Yeah, I'm losing my house. Um, my house is in foreclosure right now. We're about to get kicked out. And, uh, you know, and, and blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. He wasn't as successful. He wasn't the successful man that I knew. But he's still my friend. So me being sober, I'm like, wow, Wayne, well, maybe I can help you. He's like, yeah. And I, I actually motivated and inspired him to go to a rehab. He, he chose a rehab, and he went away for 28 days. And he just got back. Well, actually, what happened was he got back. He got out of the rehab two days early for whatever insurance reasons or whatever it was. And he says to me, I, he calls me, he says, Joey, I'm out. Uh, I've been out for a day now. I'm like, well, did you go to a meeting? He's like, no, nah, I don't like meetings. Well, Wayne, what do you want to do? Well, no, me and Mindy are looking for houses and this and that. And, and we're looking for property out here in Florida and see if I can find something. I says, all right, do me a favor. Call me when you get back home. And the bottom line is if... if this gentleman made a ton of money building waterfalls for people in their yards. He's a landscaper. And if I had gone up to him to learn, he's the guy I would go to to learn landscaping. And if I wanted to learn landscaping, I'm sure he would want me to do it whichever way he did it because that's what made him successful. Same thing with recovery. What I use is a proven plan. What I've done has worked for hundreds and thousands of and millions of people throughout the world. It's a proven system. It's a, what, what, what do they call it? Oh man, a turnkey system. It's a turnkey system. You can't fail, but you can. That's what I'm saying, guys. All right? That's what I'm saying. You have to be willing to do what the successful people ahead of you have done. It's that simple. And if you're coming up with excuses and you want to start putting your own twist into things, it's not going to work. You have to do it the way they say to do it. And it's the same thing with recovery. They told me to do certain things. They told me to get a sponsor. They told me to go to a meeting the day that I went out. They told me to do 90 meetings in 90 days. I did over 200 meetings. All right, I went above and beyond and doing what they did. I, not only did I give it the step, but I gave it the extra step of doing what they did the way they told me to do it. I remember they would tell me to make call people every day just to use the phone and get used to pe speaking to another alcoholic who would share his experiences with me and what he did. And I did it every day, every day, every day. I'll tell you what, I still have the phone numbers in my desk right there of the people that I call, the list of people that I would call every day. And you know what? 16 years later, here I am in a sober household 
and, and I've reaped the rewards of my recovery. I really, really have. I've achieved that goal, and now I have other goals that I want to achieve, and I'm following other people who have done it before me. So I have to ask you again, then why bother? If you're not going to do it, then why bother? You see, Albert Einstein said it. You can't attack a problem with the same thinking that got you there. So if you're going to go into solving something or doing something that somebody else had already accomplished, but you're going to do it your way, but your way is what got you in the mess in the first place, what are you doing? What are you doing? Then why bother? Then why read the books? Then why go to the events? Then why bother? But if you go into, I guarantee you, as I'm going to do, you will see the rewards. It's funny because I was watching a guy who was doing, it's kind of like what I did, I'm doing now. You've seen him grow. You've seen this guy grow. And that's what I want to see you guys do. And I'll, hopefully you will follow with me and grow with me. And that's the intention. That's the intention. I know right now I'm not, nobody's watching these videos. But I know eventually somebody will. And they'll be like, yeah, Joseph Diego, I remember that. So with that being said, I've said enough. So make sure you do it. Don't do it your way. Do it the right way. Take care. Stay blessed. This is Joseph Diego signing out.